This is Nick Nielsen, the Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you here is a very unique way to work your legs, your shoulders, your upper back, and your core. Now this is along the lines of a goblet squat using a dumbbell, only with this one, you're actually going to be holding a dumbbell in the crook of your arm. So it's really kind of weird, surprise, but it's very doable. Um, only do this one if you're an advanced trainer with a strong core, strong shoulders, and upper back. Um, this is not a beginner exercise. <laughs> Practice it with light weight to get an idea of how it works, how the setup goes, because it is a little bit involved. Because what you're going to be doing is holding a dumbbell vertically in the crook of your arm forward like this. So you're holding the weight out in front of your body, which puts a lot of forward tipping tension, which really forces you to brace the core strongly, involve the shoulders and your upper back in keeping that weight up. <clears throat> Here's what it looks like. Take two dumbbells. You're going to kneel down, put one dumbbell to crook your arm, get that in position, and then put the other one in. Like I said, this might take a little practice. You can even practice with this one dumbbell to start with if you like. So the way I like to go about it, get on one knee, put this up like so. Now, wrap that arm right in here, get that crook of the elbow in. Now, as you can see, this is actually pretty secure. The plates are braced around the entire length of your upper arm. Now, well, not the entire length, but you get the idea. Now, get into position, switch. Now, brace your hands together. You're good to go. Here's what it looks like now. So, just when you thought there was no other way to hold a pair of dumbbells, along comes this exercise. Now, I'll get back to you. Alright, so that is the exercise. Now, this is a really, really tough one. Um, one of the beauties of this one, beyond just having the weight out in front and putting a lot of tension on the core, if you've maxed out your dumbbells for goblet squats, you can use two dumbbells using this method. Um, 65 pound dumbbells, and this is killing me in like four reps, but I can bang out uh, many more reps with a young male goblet squat, single dumbbell, hold held closer into the body. Now, held up further, further like that, a lot more tension, the uh, weight is held a little further from your body, so it puts more overall loading on the core. So, <laughs> give this one a shot. Like I said, start lighter, Get an idea of how to put it together, how to set up, put your elbows in. Only try this one if you're confident in your ability to hold on to the dumbbells. Now, when I'm doing this one, because your arms are locked in like that, it's actually a very secure position, I find, and you can really hold it in very, very um, effectively as you're doing the exercise. So here's the exercise, lighter weight for higher reps.